Alopecia areata is a common form of hair loss. It commonly referred to as just alopecia. Alopecia areata has an autoimmune basis, in which, the body attacks its own hair follicles, causing hair to fall out, often in clumps. Alopecia areata also known as spot baldness, is a condition in which hair is lost from some or all areas of the body. Often, it results in a few bald spots on the scalp, each about the size of a coin. Alopecia areata is more common in males. Severe form of alopecia areata is called alopecia totalis, when all the hair on the scalp is lost. And further, more severe is alopecia universalis when all body hair is lost including scalp, face, and every part of the body. The lifetime risk of alopecia areata is around 2%. The objective assessment of treatment efficacy is very difficult, because spontaneous remission is unpredictable, but if the affected area is patched, the hair may regrow spontaneously in many cases. None of the existing therapeutic options are curative or preventive. There is some limited effectiveness of using corticosteroid medications clobetasol or fluosininide. Recently FDA approved another drug to treat alopecia areata. Alumiant, baricitinib, oral tablets to treat adult patients with severe alopecia areata. The efficacy and safety of alumiant in alopecia areata was studied in two randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials. With patients who had at least 50% scalp hair loss as measured by the severity of alopecia tool for more than six months. Patients in these trials received either a placebo, 2 mg of alumiant, or 4 mg of alumiant every day. The primary measurement of efficacy for both trials was the proportion of patients who achieved at least 80% scalp hair coverage at week 36. Another trial, 22% of the 184 patients who received 2 mg of alumiant and 35% of the 281 patients who received 4 mg of alumiant achieved adequate scalp hair coverage, compared to 5% of the 189 patients who received a placebo. Alumiant is a Yanis kinase, JAK, inhibitor which blocks the activity of one or more of a specific family of enzymes, interfering with the pathway that leads to inflammation. Alumiant is not recommended for use in combination with other JAK inhibitors, biologic immunomodulators, cyclosporine or other potent immunosuppressants. Alumiant comes with warnings and precautions including recommending close monitoring for the development of signs and symptoms of infection during and after treatment, evaluating patients for active tuberculosis infection and testing for latent tuberculosis prior to treatment with alumiant, and the potential for viral reactivation. Unfortunately aluminant sometimes has side effects, the most common side effects associated with alumiant include upper respiratory tract infections, headache, acne, high cholesterol, hyperlipidemia, increase of an enzyme called creatinine phosphokinase, urinary tract infection, liver enzyme elevations, inflammation of hair follicles, folliculitis, fatigue, lower respiratory tract infections, nausea, genital yeast infections, candida infections, anemia, low number of certain types of white blood cells, neutropenia, abdominal pain, shingles, herpes zoster, and weight increase. Alumiant was originally approved in 2018. It is approved as a treatment for certain adult patients with moderately to severely active rheumatoid arthritis. Alumiant is also approved for the treatment of COVID-19 in certain hospitalized adults.